what are the three systems of culture and how do they affect us? So uh, the first system is beliefs and ideology. Beliefs is our, it's, it's our collective understanding of what is true, that we hold to be true. And the ideologies are the stories that we tell ourselves about the world because of those truths, right? And oftentimes, our identity is the character in that story. And we're always the protagonist, right? Everyone else is crazy but us. So there's the first system, beliefs and ideologies. And then because of what we believe and how we see the world, we then show up in the world through a shared way of life. The artifacts that we don, the behaviors that are normative, these are the rituals, the unwritten rules, and the language that we use. These are the, the dialect, the colloquialisms, the abbreviations, the short codes, the inside jokes. And then there is cultural production. That is the expression of shared, uh, of shared subscription. This is art, literature, music, film, podcasts, uh, comic books, materials, and brands and branded products. And we use these things to express who we are, but they also reflect what people like us ought to do. And the alchemy of those systems, those systems of systems, they constitute our culture. And because of who we are, our identity, we therefore abide by these, these cultural conventions and expectations. So Marcus, one of the things that I've, AJ and I have recognized in this new modern world, we're so close to a lot of different networks and a lot of people will define things in terms that are relevant to them and their world and, and their congregation, which we're going to be getting into. Uh, so for our audience, why don't you go ahead and define this for them as the basis for what we'll be discussing today? So I look at the world through a sociological lens. My, my research is in consumer culture theory and meaning making. Um, so I, a lot of my, my theoretical repertoire sits in sociology. So look at when the founding fathers of sociology, Emil Durkheim, he defines culture as a system of conventions and expectations that demarcate who we are and what people like us do, right? It's a system that carves out our identity and what are the acceptable behaviors of people like us. So because of our identity, we see the world a certain way. And because we see the world a certain way, it influences our behaviors, our language, the artifacts that we use, and how we express ourselves through cultural production. And if you go one step further, a gentleman by the name of Raymond Williams, you know, half a, a century later, talked about culture as a meaning-making system. It's the way by which we make meaning. So if you kind of buttress those two uh, definitions together, culture is a realized meaning-making system that consists of conventions and expectations that demarcate who we are and what people like us do. Now, would you say it's easiest to identify culture based on the cultural production? So we think of music, film, TV. Uh, obviously, when we hear culture right now, a lot of us think of hip hop culture. It's like almost become synonymous. And obviously, music is a big part of that culture. But uh, how do you, as a, a marketer or someone who's fascinated by culture, identify culture? It's a really great way to put it. You know, when we look at the cultural production, we know that that's sort of the mythology of a group of people that help not only express who they are, but also reflect what people like them ought to do. So when we hear hip hop, we go, why don't they tell the police when things bad happen in the neighborhood? Oh, because they believe in don't snitch. We can hear it in the music, right? Um, you know, Kanye, the old Kanye, by the way, don't judge me. Uh, you know, he has that line, what do you think I rap for? To push an effing rap for? And you know what? When my wife and I were going to buy a car after we had our first child, we were in a hatchback car, we we're going to buy a, an SUV. We were like, well, we're not buying a rap for, right? The cultural production dictated what people like us do. So cultural production becomes a way by which we're able to visualize or to, to, to observe the uh, people's cultural practices made manifest. The artifacts that they wear become a signal for us as well. Their behaviors become a signal and so does their language. But the important part to know is that those are the tangible expressions of their culture. But you don't really know the people until you know the beliefs and ideologies that they use to translate the world. Right, the, the 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 artifacts, the behaviors, the language, the cultural production—they are outward expressions of inward beliefs. So they provide a proxy for us to get a sense of it. But you got to get much closer to know what are the truths that they hold, and what are the stories they tell themselves through the ideological uh, subscription that they have. Mm -hmm. 